Hey, everybody, it's Yvette Nicole Brown. Oh, uh, Joel McHale, Osenberg. <laughs> uh, Dan Ekman, I directed it. Chris McKenna. Dan Harmon. And this is a digital exploration of interior design. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Hot and Brown in the background. Right? Yeah, this is our, when, is this Subway's debut? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Subway's debut as our sponsor. Take care, was great. Props to Subway for having a great sense of humor and flexibility about the, the uh, portrayal of themselves. Unprecedented. So. Unprecedented. Right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. They said do whatever you want, right? Yeah. Here's, our, here's our name and our. I mean, because we turned down the initial offer, which was more of a standard thing, where there would be a guy on the set making sure that when their sandwiches were in the shot, that they were framed right, or that they do we do at least three mentions of their new uh, crispy rye salad wrap. <laughs> uh, the, the, we 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 said no to that respectfully, but then they came back with, okay, well, how about this? We give you a suitcase full of money, and you do whatever you want, and we, we swear to God. And you still God. said no. You're a madman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, so we did what we wanted, and we told a good story with Subway, and I think everybody won. I mean, it's product placement. You're you're ge you're getting the message that Subway is a way to eat fresh, but yeah. you're not feeling prostituted as a viewer. Um, you don't feel like the show is being compromised. Uh huh. Travis. Yep. And this is Travis he making his debut as Subway. Yeah, he was great. He, he was really awesome. was. He was a sweet guy. But surprisingly, legal process known as corporate. Jim cracks me. Up I guess he's a thing, Scrubs but... Scrubs alum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did see that like online. They said he was Keith Dudemeister. I think was his character. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, Goldman. Doesn't <laughs> get better. Yeah, get Neil than Goldman that. in here. I don't believe this. Come on, Subway. There is no way you're five ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you can vote? Actually, no, because technically I'm only a week old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has a hair trigger. <laughs> so good. <laughs> there's, a, well, there's not a lot that's that adorable to her. Yeah. yeah. I think Shirley would have got in too if it wasn't someone that stole her sandwich shop. <laughs> Cuteness. It's kryptonite. Army reserves. <laughs> Let's say a little kryptonite. <laughs> Just for Jeffrey. Let's pray that Jeffrey's not harmed. I don't know if you guys talk about this in the next one, but we were we were originally this was going to be we were going to do a one episode of Troy and Abed uh, doing a blanket fort versus pillow fort, right? Uh, what happened to you? What, 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 Dan's <laughs> asleep right now. Uh, no, no like, I'm trying to think of. Remember, and then you said like, no, let's do a two episodes. Let's do this two episodes. The second one will be oh, Ken Burns right, style. Right, 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 right. And was, then it was a, it was all about budget and schedule. Yeah, it was like, like I know how we can do this that'll that'll give let them give us permission. If you can disguise right. your idea as a way to save money. Um, oh, I love that moment. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. it's so cute. It's using your, my pouch to sneak in Nathan. Nathan Fillion from uh, Castle but... tweeted that he thought that was a <laughs> nod to him. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan Fillion would like to come on the show, He by would the way. love to come on the He'd show. He'd love to. The the beginning of season two, we <laughs> came up with this idea of uh, doing something with lockers. Jeff finally yeah. realizing that there's lockers. And we tried to break a couple different stories where it was it was much too big. It was like turning into an A story. Right. Uh, and this seemed to be the perfect size for it. Oh, yeah. For a long time, we were like, there was like a lake house thing that we were going to do where it was like, like, like there was a letter from Annie in that she had, when she realizes that Jeff hasn't realized that he's he's he has a locker. Yeah. She's put a note in his locker, like from first season, that's gonna change everything if he reads it or something. I was like, we were trying to break those stories, and we couldn't really figure out how to do it. So we just landed on this. This is a hate letter. What? Let me see that. Dear Jeff, this may come as a shock to someone who thinks he's God's gift to the world, but you're actually an inconsiderate jerk, Kim. Inconsiderate. Who's Kim? I don't know. And clearly, she doesn't know me. <laughs> I didn't sneeze. Look at these idiots. Cattle, sheep, other animals that travel in herds. I want to say snakes. Am I the only person enraged by the fact that corporations are taking human form? I totally predicted this in my high school newspaper column, Britta Unfiltered. Unfiltered. I get it. Get what? Actually, maybe Subway taking human form could be its undoing. Uh, Britta, you're a uh, progressive woman of a more liberated looseness. You could get close to Subway and find out some dirt on me. Corporate espionage. I like it. Microphones hidden in lipstick, lipstick hidden in microphones. I love that Shirley and Pierce are effectively trying to pimp Britta right now, and yeah, Shirley has no problem. It's a fun dynamic, you two. Yeah, I love it. up for evil. Yeah, no, she has no, Shirley has no problem with pimping another human being, which is crazy. Yeah.
the bar to say in an yeah, I really liked you and Chappie's performance in this. Thank it was great. you, Dan. Abed, Troy. Ah, uh, don't For worry. sight of pillows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Set of blankets. Oh, there was a very fun... different from blankets. There's Dino <laughs> looking for the bar. There was there was a fun <laughs> like deleted piece here where that I think would have connected to the next episode where he um. Uh, Troy, or sorry, Abed uh, yells at Leonard for, right. for using a blanket on it. His pillow or blanket for it. So you boys, you should go for it. Put this school on the. Map. Also, I remember Jim had uh, had a slight issue with some of the language of the lines, and um, he came over to bring it to us. It was like a typo or something, and McKenna kept giving him a hard time, like, "Oh, you write one George Clooney movie, and uh, you think you're the fucking man?" I, and I then did he, that he bit. backed that off. Bit, the, that obvious bit. I uh, yeah. Poor he guy. backed off though. No, he, he was, was right. He was, it was like a wording thing. Like, no, that's right. That's, it was a that's better. And then he got so like humble about it. He was like, no, no, no. I'm gonna do it as it's written. No, no, no. <laughs> awesome. Uh, he's the man. He oh my god, dream come true. John Goodman was. And he had the ponytail because doing a movie. How great of a been right. No, he's going through stuff. He needs to have a goatee and uh, <laughs> a ponytail. <laughs> no, he was doing something where we were told that he was going to have a ponytail and a goatee, and we said, awesome. You guys watch that television show together, don't you? Inspector Space. Yeah, I remember Do Donald thought that it was, like, all added just for the, just for the one throwaway joke. <laughs> He's got to get more sleep. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Smart, decisive. And Reggie is, well, he, Reggie. Reggie is trained in zero-gravity martial arts and has a whistle. Goodman's such a machine. Amazing. The, the set changes definitely. Oh he, it god. was it was amazing. It seemed like oh my god, Mr. Goodman. It was like Mr. Goodman, Mr. John Goodman, John Goodman, and then he came in and nailed he's, it. And then, he's an iceberg. Yeah, you can't. You, <laughs> you you don't want to and can't give him an adjustment. Like like he's he comes in, he does what he wants. I I I, I watch him on the feed and I'm like, I, John Goodman is saying things that I wrote. It's so weird. <laughs> Humble brag. Um, and the, 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 uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I regret, like, I, 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 th I dropped the ball with the John Goodman mini arc story. I, it's just, I've, I've expressed that on other commentaries. Like, it's, it's hard to do a stunt cast mini arc story. You, you, stunt casting is a dangerous game to play. Um, with a with somebody who's the schedule starts to become, starts to eclipse your ability to just tell a story. You, 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 you can get them this week. You can't get them that week. I, and and it wasn't just that it was like i don't know i just never I never quite got a handle on what i was doing with that character what do you recommend that was um adam so no. playing kim <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh, you know what he is such an incredible presence he, i don't know i mean you can you can shit on the writing but i i don't know i i think people Anyway, he made a lasting impression. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I and agree. If, if not for the fact that you told the room temperature joke, that he told yeah, one of the most perfect great. jokes mm -hmm. ever that was made. Andy Bobro, the, 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 I think. Is the room temperature room? The, room temperature yeah, room. the, the so concept bad. of the wow. room temperature room. But he sucks at writing. <laughs> <laughs> He's Bobro is in there. I guess he has He's one good idea. It's He's like a you know, broken clock. <laughs> time twice a day, right? It was at my interaction, my first interaction with John Goodman. Uh, I was introduced as a writer, and he said, I have, I have a question for you. <laughs> this line it says, <laughs> he goes, exceptuality? <laughs> I said, yes. Not a word. I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. The clarification. Yeah, he. You could tell he was not that psyched on the idea that that the character. Didn't well, he had, had to memorize these words. long, crazy monologues, and he nailed them. He was great, and he oh my God. really super angry if he right. messed up a word. I wonder if that comes from like being in all those like Coen Brothers movies that have these like long single scenes and like you can't mess up kind of because it's only one shot. I don't know. He's he was amazing though about. Um, knowing his lines and, and doing them perfectly. So great that Subway would anticipate this. <laughs> <laughs> like, my favorite joke, I, no one ever really laughs at this. I don't know if we, we didn't fail to land it or something. But he says, he, he, he reveals this fantasy of he wants to start a wounded animal hospital and he says, "Cat dogs with one with a wheel for a hind leg, uh, blind hamsters, and she says, one-eyed cats? But, and then his response is, well, it's not the top of my list, but okay. <laughs> I, just, I think that's so funny because the, uh, all right, Harmon. No, I, I, I agreed. <laughs> he undercuts this nice bill. Like, yeah, yes, you no. yes and that. Like, why does he, why is that a deal breaker? <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> no. It's, it's a great joke, and it's one that Andy Bobro could never dream of writing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Andy. Uh, 
You should put the small ones in the middle, or the wall won't hold the ceiling. Why do I always have to be your Reggie? What? <laughs> I wanted to make a blanket for it, and you never even gave it a second thought. I'm not even your sidekick, I'm your underkick. I never said you couldn't do anything. If you want to make a blanket for it, that's fine with me. Thank you. So background people in this scene are um, the rest of Derek Comedy, which is mine and Donald's uh, Name comedy them, group. shall you? Uh, Maggie, DC, and Dominic. And, Ma and Maggie is? Maggie is my wife. Your lovely yes. wife. Yes. Yay. I didn't know that. It's, yeah, it's Married true. in it Paris. Wow. Married in true. Paris. That's we, not a song. We, were, we worked together before um, it all went down. But yeah. This aired the third after the hiatus break? I think so. Yeah. The scene, we, we were fond of like in the writer's room because it's question. a rare instance where we get to rescue a, a lost joke. We, oh, yeah. the, the the IBM joke uh, was was part of a season two episode, right? Yeah, we had to cut it. It was it was conspiracy theories. It was Annie and and Jeff were gonna. Jeff Why was we gonna felt like it had to be associated with know. pillows? <laughs> <laughs> well, because he comes and starts taking. Uh, no, I know, but I was oh, like, yeah. it's not, it's a, the IBM joke would have worked. Like anyway. we could have we could have used anyway. it anywhere. I, I yeah, it's, a, it's nothing to do with pillows, but we. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, Chris, you were thinking that uh, Leonard was going to be very confused. <laughs> He's like, wait, I've done this. I, you know what? You know who are confused? They're confused the sound guys because you can hear them talking, and they're like, where to God, I've heard that joke before. <laughs> I think, haven't we done this joke before? And I actually went up to him like, yeah, we did in Conspiracy Theories. This is a great Chevy episode. I, I, I've, I've said this a million times. I don't know if I've said it on commentary. Chris McKenna is is the greatest ally that Chevy Chase will ever not appreciate enough. So that Chris McKenna is responsible for for the the the, the greatest moments that this this Pierce character has. He, I, I, Chris like has this fondness for this. Kind he of wanted Eric to do Cartman. Water Shark. I said no, Land Shark. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, but the 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 Dungeons and Dragons version of Chevy, the 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 bitter old man that you see in this in this in this episode too, this Gene Hackman in the conversation character, this 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 this, this imbi embattled, embittered, like 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 selfish um, uh, guy who says what he what he feels and what he feels is just id. Um, Chris is, re you know, it, and it's, it's so ironic because Chris cares the most about the show, and it, when he's on the set during an episode that he wrote, he's he'll he'll bother to do something that people are terrified to do, which is suggest to Chevy maybe if you do it this way or whatever. It's, but he doesn't know like that like Chris is the best ally he's got. Chris is like the reason why like Chevy is funny in this show. I mean, Chevy's Chevy's the reason why he's funny too. Whatever, but 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 I mean, saying like Chris writes the best lines for him. Ah, uh, we have a good rapport. He, he has, a, you know, he, sounds like a Bob Rowe joke. He has this, <laughs> he has this thing where he comes up and accidentally spills water on my shoes every day. Uh, well, while we are complimenting McKenna, though, he is like he gives so much of a shit. It's insane. Like he, I, I, I've worked with you know lots of people, but he he really goes. Goes balls to the wall, and I think um, is really amazing to work with. That's uh, great. Are you thanks. crying there? <laughs> what? Not, what? What? I mean, it's just like you said, balls to the wall, and just heard a sniffle. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe a... I'm coming down with a cold, but oh, right. I think you were. It does get me emotional, though. Bit. It does get me emotional. Oh, <gasps> Subway. Britta, I was worried you wouldn't come. I can't stop thinking about you. They wanted me to plant a bug on you. I can't, and I won't. Our values, our identities, they mean nothing to me now. Only the primal remains. To me, you are simply a physical necessity. I wanted to say... This turned out really... When she shoved... Oh, go ahead. So I'm sorry. No, I was. It's going back to a different joke when she shoved the sandwich off of the desk. Oh, uh, it's so funny! It's so funny. <laughs> it's just like, here's the solution. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> so we didn't. And we didn't uh, notice. They'll never none notice, of us notice. that. <laughs> so, so in love with Britta this season. Like, it's just, it's like uh, Gillian makes the oddest choices sometimes. Like, 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 like it's fifty. It's a fifty-fifty <laughs> coin toss. Like, like you. You, do, you ask her to do something physical, and you're like, you know, you're gonna get a disaster or gold, or and, and, and sometimes both because it's it's gold because it's a disaster. Like she, she just, if you if you when you adjust her and go like, well, just do it like like kind of in the middle of it, realize that you're you're sad. Like that's when she goes off the rails, and so you get like these weird Brita performances. 
Uh, fun, fun fact, Chevy never drank anything. It was all right. CGI'd. CGI. And and was he supposed to drink something? We we had two options. One was going to be to have him have the ink, and, and we got like one take in and realized, oh, that's not going to work. Because it'll be um, have to clean up every time. Thank you for your note, because I'm going to try and change. I just wish you were here to forgive me. I am, and I do. I'm Kim. What? You said Kim was dead. Because you never remember who I am. First year, we hung out like 10 times, and each time you introduced yourself to me. That's hey, back to that lipstick microphone. And then today, it's like you still what movie me. were you referencing? It was uh, The Conversation. No. Wait, 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 wait. The oh, lipstick no, 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 shot. Sorry, the lipstick shot was literally, um, it, well, it's a hard reference to get, but it was, it was, it was inspired by um, a shot in Casino that goes in on the guy's like leg. Any time. So I had to ask that now. Ekman, oh, doesn't right, have right, to say, right, right. Ekman doesn't have to say anything else for the rest of the time. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. But the. Uh, well, I, go ahead, Ekman. The story we didn't land, but it was just fun. I don't know. It I thought was, it was funny, it was but, funny. but the, it's, it's like the story went nowhere. It was just. You know, you know what? You I get don't to know. See, I think our see characters Jeff and grew. Annie together. <laughs> we learned a lot. But I do want to point out this is good for shipper videos. The set design for the for the for the con that, that 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 chain link room where they're doing yes. the recording, the real real. It's like 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 we, the, the people that work on Community, like you kind of like you, you you say the conversation to them and they they go crazy. Like they 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 just love making shit like that. Yeah, the art department. They can do it phenomenal. so quickly. Too. They have they've learned they have to do it quickly. <laughs> yeah, because the scripts come in an yeah, hour the, before um, we shoot. This the, uh, thing. Oh my God, Denise Pizzini and the, oh my the rest God. of the art department. Yeah. Yeah, that was and it was one of these things where, like, we always said it was going to be a, we, you know, Abed's thing has got to be a, uh, a Buckminster Fuller uh, geodesic dome. And it was one of these things where, like, it would be $8,000 cheaper if it was a pyramid. <laughs> yeah, I know. And we're like, you really want a dome, please, Mr. Keeneland? And uh, they did it, and it Oh, it's phenomenal. phenomenal. The thing phenomenal. is, this thing that you're inside is a real dome that we, we that is also from the outside. I mean, we never shot it from the outside. Yeah. Yeah. It was a dome I know, from we were supposed outside, to get an so. exterior. Yep. That was going to be like. That's a that's called an Ekman fuck up. What? Oh. No, they were they were they were they were supposed to get I didn't picked up. Want it was supposed to get picked shot. up during three fourteen, and right. it never got picked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it was, it was well, supposed to be to like a cityscape up. of right. the pillow fort. Like, yeah. like, like, like uh, I wanted to have like a. Uh, this scene right yeah, here is awesome, genius. Like, this is um, helicopter looking. Show. This scene is James, fantastic. So <laughs> James Connor is playing the subway yeah. rep, and he is so so funny. Oh, he's so he's great. So is it, is it Jewel, Jewel Bestrop is already our casting director as of this guy getting cast right? Like, oh, like, definitely. So it's like 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 yeah. slam dunk on it. So like she brings yeah. the, he's the, awesome. And that here's guy, a here's a fun he's been working straight for like twenty five. Oh no, he's years. amazing. I saw him recently. And this is a fun fact. He's the husband of my commercial agent Brooke. Yeah. And she didn't even tell me he was coming on set, so he came on. I'm like, oh, my God, you're here. And it, he's just genius. It he was a little difficult, though, because there, there were two gyms in the scene. So yeah. We yeah. did a yeah. commercial. Oh, yeah, oh, you did a commercial with I did a commercial with him, like, oh, not remember, like nine years ago. What was it for? I don't yeah. remember. Oh, you don't remember? I don't. Who wrote, the, who, who wrote that line? I, 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 I'm... I'm a married man, but I grew up in the barrier. What, what is no. It seems like a so Gans Gansish kind of thing. Maybe or Barbara. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I recall that specific showed up like that morning. Um, the uh, But this guy, and it's, you know, we're coming up on the, depending on how you look at it, the world's <laughs> least or most sophisticated boner joke <laughs> in television history. I'm gonna go with most sophisticated because it's possible. So it's possible to get through it without understanding. Yeah, I'm right. one of the ones that, that didn't get it. Joke. I didn't get it. For That's why a it gets through S and P. Yeah. It's important that you have the option of not getting the boner joke. And poor Jim, we made him go through this. Not, uh, I'm sorry, Jim Connor. We made him do this a bunch of times. But we also, I also wanted to make sure. Sure, that we had variations so that we weren't overselling it because right. I don't know. Yeah. We did get a lot I had of them start moving forward because, in case it went over everyone's head, right. you had some sort of sign. Yeah, there was varying degrees of how much it was obvious. It goes or over not. a lot of heads, but what I like about it is that it, it going over the head results in a in, in theater of the absurd. It's like it's like, it's like a Christopher Durang bit. Yeah. That, that he just for some reason the show stops down because he they won't give him his jacket, and it, it, it's actually still funny. Yeah, I was so happy that that made it into the. What's guy. this guy's name about? I will tell you one second. He's a friend of my girlfriend. New Subway He's... is Patrick Babbitt. He's good. At Subway yeah, number I two. Like a lot. His, his... I played catchphrase with him. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's got gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Charles. Eric Charles the most Nielsen. Terrifying. Garrett. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the world. Uh, never How many episodes has he done? He's like oh, almost a series regular at this point. I want, he must get uh, uh, probably more than you guys. I bet Eric Charles uh, recognized. He like, like has sure. people stopping oh, him yeah. on sidewalks. Oh, yeah. I'm going. sure. He's authentic. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Youngblood. Ekman, we threw three very different stories at you. 
uh, what was days. hardest? The, the scope of this one? Uh, well, this no, would shooting, be the you know what? Shooting with those fucking lockers. Yeah, the shooting in the oh, lockers. God. People don't understand. Like, that was much There's more of a no room. Why? Because no it's room. really weird tight spaces, and also, like, you had to have people taking lines to the locker <laughs> and to each other and all this other Tito. weird shit. This was amazing. I had so much fun doing this. How many takes to get that I, hit exactly right? I did go overboard, though, in the director's cut and put a bunch of fucking Skyrim music <laughs> in. Yeah. I don't know. I was in a dark place. How many takes, <laughs> how many takes did it get to get that thing right? Uh, these are good. Uh, look at that acting. Like, yeah. like, that's what I was Donald talking was, about before when I was so praising great. Donald. Like, like th these are like, like what the, you, you see the stakes. Yeah. You see the stakes like, in like, just like, their faces. And if the show wasn't able to do that, then this would all be just a horrible experiment love in tonality. I, I really <laughs> love that shift <laughs> where they're they're kind of they're amazing. sad and yearning, and to so, then they're determined. Yeah, yeah. To be continued. It's a it's a story driven show because the actors can pull it off. <laughs> this scene was originally a minute and a half. Oh yeah. <laughs> There were great, yeah. there was the same so Warburton line that we had to cut. Yeah. There's a whole uh, thing about uh, his wife. Yeah, his wife, right, right. It turned into just a just nothing. Him giving advice like, uh, let me do you a favor. It's like, is it Sheila again? It's like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> right. do yourself a favor. Go home, put a suitcase in your hand. <laughs> See how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're a cold, you're a cold, you're a cold blooded, blooded man. man. That's an awesome line. Thanks for listening, you guys.